congratulations, my friend. You have made it to the end of the most unique craft beer tasting guide that there is out there. I hope you have a celebratory drink to enjoy with me, but I want to take a look back at all five tasting pages that you filled out so far. As you're flipping back, I want you to see if you can spot any trends and consider some of the following as you flip. Did you enjoy a drink more in a glass, in a bottle, or in a can? In general, did you agree with how breweries describe their own beer? Or did you taste something that conflicted with what they had to say? Were there any new feelings words that perfectly capture what you like in your brew? Like for me, I really like eclectic beers, so that's my favorite beer word. Which tell me more questions were really, really easy for you to answer. You were just like scribbling away. You needed more space. And which ones were really tough for you? Like, just be honest with yourself. I'm never going to know the answer to these things. I hope that by going through all these crazy exercises with me, you're starting to realize that craft beer doesn't have to be this big, spooky, unknown universe. And I promise you, if you go into any local brewery and say, I like hazy IPAs with citra hops, right? Like you know what you're talking about, you know the industry, or you go in and you say, I want a beer that tastes like the flirty girl at a house party. Your beer tender is gonna know what you mean and get you taken care of all the same. Now, even though our time together is done and you filled up this guide, I'd encourage you to stay curious and keep exploring your own beer feelings. Now, my superpower is expressing what I'm experiencing and taking others along the ride for me. So if you've enjoyed the journey so far, here are a couple of ways to keep the party going. Number one, go ahead, subscribe to the Beer Feelings podcast. It streams on any possible podcast platform you probably listen to. But on this show, I demystify the craft beer space in a fun and flirty way. So if you are curious about new styles, you do want to learn a little bit about the science and history. This is where I make sure to answer all of your questions. Number two, follow along on Instagram and Facebook. This is where I release all of my episodes. You get to know me, you get to see kind of, you get to learn more about me as a human. And finally, you can visit the Beer Feelings online store. So all the links are down here. You don't have to remember anything because we're just enjoying a beer together. But if you visit the Beer Feelings online store, I can help you create the ultimate boozy and bougie spa night at home. So thanks guys. This has been a joy. Thanks for giving me a reason to drink when the sun is still up because that's when the light is good. And hopefully I see you guys soon. So cheers, everybody.